Hello friends, my name is Tofik and you're watching my channel Graphics Den. So in this video, I am going to talk about the liquify filter in Photoshop. So let's get started. So liquify filter is basically used in modeling photography. It is also used in other way, other things, but mostly in modeling photography to change features, facial features and other body features. So let's have a look. So the filter is located in obviously filter menu liquify. So it opens a new window for liquify. These are the tools and these are the properties. So first is forward warp tool. This is a mostly used tool. So there are like three or four tools which are mostly used in liquify. So this is one of them, which is forward warp tool. W is its shortcut key. So it basically moves the area that we draw or select. So we can change its density pressure so density if we decrease the density as you can see the area of the brush it barely affects the area we have to do much but it only slightly changes the area but once we increase or as we increase the density it it changes pretty quickly like this so we can play with the density I usually keep the density in between like around 40 so it works so how how it is used for changing like facial features so I will just like we use a revert key to restore all it, it, the, here is an option restore all so it basically does what revert does so once I click it restores the image it gives us the original image so I will zoom it a little bit more using Control plus zoom in and let's say if I want to change eyebrows I can use this forward warp tool so I will keep pressure also at like around 40 and click and drag so I will slightly change because if I change it too much it will look fake so we can slightly change let's say if I want to change the eye size or the placement of the eye nose lips jawline so i can easily do that using the forward warp tool and many seem many times you may have seen that some model in video any model looks totally different but in photographs the model looks very different that's because the photographs the photograph it's probably uh, edited using the liquid tool liquify tool that there are obviously other tools but uh, the changes can be done also using the liquify tool so we can do this using the liquify tool so if i click on restore and undo ctrl z so it's we can see the difference clearly like this now moving on to the second tool reconstruct tool this is like the history tool that we use so if i change it I will change it using the forward warp tool so this is not the original image and if I want to reconstruct the tool the image so it also has the rate which controls the speed of the tool so you can simply draw and reconstruct the image just like the history brush and it also has smoothing tool smooth tool which smoothens the area that we want and we can also control the rate pressure and density so just like this it smoothens the area selected area like this smoothing and if you want it back to the original position we can simply click on the restore button so it gives us the original image then we have 12 it is this tool is not much used tool just I'm just pressing the left mouse button and holding it press and hold so it gives this effect we can use this on here maybe because it is not useful at all on other features like this maybe you can use this tool on a leaf of a tree or something like that but not on humans as it is not that useful so this is the 12 tool now 
these next two tools pucker tool and bloat tool these are like also mostly used tools along with forward warp tool because using the pucker tool we can shrink the certain area that we want like this i will decrease the speed so if i press and hold left click it will decrease the area like this so this is before and this is after so this the pucker tool it shrinks the area and if you want to bloat the area if you want to bloat the area then we can use simply bloat tool like this you may have seen this on youtube like they make like funny videos or something like for thumbnail you may have seen this effect so basically to increase the area we can use the bloat tool this can be also this this is this is mostly used on bodybuilding photographs so to increase the mass of the muscles like this but some muscle should be there otherwise it will look fake so liquefy now using the bloat tool i can increase the area like really beefed but it has to look real so we don't we shouldn't use it too much so it will look fake so this is before and this is after so this is how we can use the bloat tool and pucker tool now these next few tools which are rarely used i will select this image go to liquify the next is masking tool freeze mask so freeze mask basically protects the area that we want so let's say i want to only change the hair area and i want to protect the face so i can simply draw on face so even if i try to change the face area using any tool it won't affect at all but once i go beyond that it will change so to protect we can use the freeze mask tool and if you want to remove the mask we can use the thaw just like we can freeze the water and we can thaw the ice simply freeze mask and thaw mask so we can remove the mask or if you want to remove it completely the mask in one click we can use the mask options and we can simply click on none and if you want to apply to the entire area we can say mask all and let's see if i want to thaw mask like this and if you want to remove mask from entire area we can simply click none so it will remove mask from entire area now this tool face tool this is also this is a newer tool as compared to the these all the all the previous tools but it is also mostly used tool face tool now we can use face tool in two ways we can use it directly on the image or we can use using the values these are bunch of values that we can use to manipulate the shapes and features of uh, mostly face because it says it is face aware tool so using the tool we can simply click on any any area that we want so let's see if i want this eye to be increase like this like this i can simply increase the area of eyes or size of the eyes i can also tilt the eye like this i can also change the height of the nose width of the nose i can also change the smile like this lips upper lip lower lip i can also change the size of forehead chin jaw line so the this all these thing things i can do directly using the face tool but what if i want to use it by applying the values so i can simply i will restore this so basically i will go again filter liquify now using the values i can simply change the i will zoom it a little bit if i want to use on the eyes individually i can use this but if i want to use the effect on eyes together i can simply link the area i can switch on the link so that it will work together on eyes again if i link then eyes eye height then we have eye width then again we have eye tilt like this and eye distance 
we can change then we have nose nose height we can change we can also change nose width then we have smile we can change the value smile upper lip lower lip mouse width then mouse height again lastly we have face shape so forehead then we have chin then we have jawline and face width so using these tools we can change feature of face or any other parts body parts or any we can use it on objects as well now there is another option called as view option so if i want to see the changes as well as the original image we can use this option called as show backdrop so it will show us the change as well as the original image as you can see and if you want to control the opacity we can control the opacity using this opacity option like this but i usually don't use this because it is slightly confusing so i will turn this off but if you find it like simplistic you can always use this so this is how we can use the liquify filter in photoshop so uh, do give it a go and tell me in the comment section that how the liquify filter is useful for you so that's it for this video if you find this video useful please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel i'll see you in the next video until then bye bye and cheers